Thanks for stopping by. This is Dan Bell of Bell Certified. Uh, today we're continuing our discussion of 102E. And um, just a quick review first before we move on to new information. So we have a target patent that we need to have invalidated. Uh, the target patent has a uh, filing date. And um, under 102E, uh, well, before first, we have a claim where the our lawyer has asked us to invalidate. That says claim one right there. Uh, as you see, my penmanship continu continues to improve. Um, we're told to um, f invalidate claim one in this example, and um, we uh, we find a we find a reference that's after the filing date of of the uh, target patent and under 102a we're in trouble because uh, one of the uh, the uh, I'm sorry the, this is the publication date of the of the reference um, and let's say this reference is a, uh, a a US patent or a US application so this is a patent or US application. Boy, this it's hard to write with one of these boards. Um, and, s and so let's say that it published on this date here, which is after the filing date of the target. Uh, well, under 102A, we're and let's say that it teaches each and every element of claim one. And so, uh, you know, all the luck in the world. If this thing under 102A, if this thing were before the invention date, back here somewhere, remember we d the filing date is just a, cons a, a presumed invention day, uh, but that um, there's probably an earlier date uh, back here somewhere if they can show an earlier uh, invention, either a reduction to practice or whatever, um, or a conception with diligence uh, until the uh, uh, until the reduction to practice, whether uh, a actual or c uh, constructive reduction to practice. Th that's just review, so uh, if you're new uh, and don't understand that, you need to go backwards in the course material. Um, and so uh, the filing date of this target patent that we want to invalidate um, uh, is, is just a presumed invention date, and the inventor uh, can uh, swear behind that date if they need to. If a prior art reference comes I somewhere in here, uh, in other words, before their filing date, um, uh, the inventor can swear back and get to this earlier date. Um, let's call this a reduction to practice. Um, they can prove earlier reduction to practice. That's just one of the methods. Um, and since this is a one of since this reference was published, it, it became accessible after the presumed invention date. Then it's not a 102A uh, reference, right? 102A. It doesn't qualify as a 102A reference. Um, but 102A, 102E is here to save the day. Since this is a U.S. Um, uh, either U.S. patent or U.S. Uh, application that, that became accessible on this uh, date, it either issued as a patent or as an application it published. We look down and we notice the on the uh, face of the patent it has a filing date. And lo and behold, this filing date is back here somewhere, and this is the uh, this is the filing date of this application or this patent. And since it is before the constructive, uh, the presumed invention date, which is the constructive reduction to practice, and if it's before the actual reduction to practice, um, and if it's before, say, the conception with diligence until the uh, reduction to practice, the, this, uh, this, if this date is before then, then under 102E, we have, um, we have prior art. And so that's, that's what, um, that's what 102E brings us. We're not just stuck back here at this accessibility date. We get to go back to an earlier date, which is the filing date. So, um, Let's leave that idea. That's just a quick review. Um, and let's move on to another idea. So this, again, we have this uh, 
we have this target that we want to invalidate. Um, uh, let's move this over here. So this is the target that we want to invalidate. And let's say we find a uh, let's say we find a, a reference, a, a patent reference. By that I mean either an application or a patent uh, that issued in the U.S. here on this date or published on this date which is after the uh, filing date of the target, filing date of the targets here. And we look down and we look for the filing date of this and we realize that, dang, sure enough, it teaches each and every element of the claim, but it was filed on this date, which is not soon enough, because remember we have to get this, uh, this filing date has to get before this reference. But then we notice that, and this, say, this is a U.S., let's just call it a U.S. patent. And uh, we, we also notice that, that, this, that this U.S. patent not only has this filing date right here, but it also claims through a chain of, of other U.S. patents or applications so it has family members. So th this uh, this one that <coughs> this patent that issued on this date was filed on this date. But we notice that that it claims t to a earlier filed. It's a continuation of a patent that fi that filed on this date. And then we look and we notice that that was a continuation of a patent filed on this date, right? That's, that word says file, believe it or not. Uh, and so here, here is our, our target here, down here. And sure enough, either one of these two references filing dates would be before our, um, our presumed invention date or our constructive reduction to practice here. And um, since it is, this, this is a, since this is a, uh, this is 102E um, part two, by the way. If you go back and read 102E, you'll see um, the first part of 102E talks about applications. The second part talks about patents. This is an issued patent. It, ha it claims through a series of U.S. patent applications to an earlier application. And so the rule is, is, uh, is as follows. If, this, if the subject matter that you need that was in this issued patent, and this is the subject matter that you need to invalidate this claim over here in your target, claim one. If that's included here, and that's included here, and that's included here, then under 102E, you're, you're entitled to this earlier filing date, which is the date you need under 102E, uh, 102E to this filing date you're entitled to. So um, that's the key. Uh, you can claim all the way back because of this, even though maybe this was filed on this date and never was published, maybe it was abandoned, this was, um, this was filed on this date claiming uh, priority to this family claim, but never, maybe it never published or issued. You know, never published, never became public. And this was filed on, on this date, claiming back to this one, and it maybe it never published or issued. But because this U.S. patent, or an, if it were a, publica a publication, because it published that one of the requirements under 102E is that the, is that the, uh, either the, the uh, in Clause 1, either the application publishes, or in Clause 2, the patent issues. So granted patent is the way it puts it. And since, th since in this family something finally published or issued, you can sneak back to these dates and you're entitled to these dates if there's support. And since you verified support in this case, um, you have uh, a 102E reference that gets back far enough for you. Now the same rules apply here, right? I mean, uh, f for this target patent, it's still it, it's still um, it still can try to prove earlier invention, right? This is just its con a constructive reduction of practice, and if and if it 
can prove a conception here and it can prove a, an act of diligence beginning here before this filing date and then continuing until it's constructive reduction to practice then this whole chain is not uh, prior art um, but if not if it can't prove that um, or if it can't if it can't prove a uh, reduction to practice that's the other the other rule right if it can't re um, uh, prove one of those two things before the prior art event date which is this filing date uh, then then this family of applications is not uh, prior art and that's the idea of 102e now we've talked about US applications here and um, this also applies to um, to some uh, foreign or I should say international applications um, Let's see here. I'm 11 minutes into this, so I better pause for now. We'll talk more about this later.